So you finally got back. Don't you realize that father was worried about you? Yes. I hope I did not worry you all. I suppose this will be my first and my last hunt, eh? All that time in the jungle, and you still come back empty-handed. Hey, I almost lost my life out there. I was nearly attacked by a deer. I thought you'd be fighting lions with your bare hands. Stop teasing. Do you know father is angry with me? Oh, calm yourself. He would never get angry with precious little you, like he would if it were me, of course. What's that supposed to mean? It's not like father to get angry with just anyone, so why would he be angry with you and not me? Because you're his favorite, the good son, right? You never do anything wrong. You're the apple of his eye. That's not true. Father loves us equally, and it would really hurt him if he were to hear you talking like that. And I love him too. But as usual, you always seem to get what you want. Do you think I don't see that? How much better he treats you? I can't believe you're saying this. Well, what do you mean, better? He treats us exactly the same. Really? So how come two days ago I asked him if I could go hunting, and he told me I couldn't? But when you wanted to go, he let you. So stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. But that was the day of the great flood, when all our food supplies were ruined. We would have starved to death if we'd not worked hard to refill our stock. And that was why I wanted to go hunting. I only wanted to help out. But because he hates me, he didn't want me to go. Oh, Carbill, what you're saying is so unfair. Father was only worried about your safety, and you should know by now how much he cares for you. Like I said, I care for him too. But I know he would pay me more attention if you weren't around to spoil it all. What? You can't be serious. Carbell, we'd better go before Father starts worrying about both of us. much you try and be a good son. Your father will always love Harbel more than you. You must get rid of him, or soon the entire family will turn against you. Then where will you be? I would gladly give all that I have to Allah, for He has given me everything I own. Hmm, why should I give away my best crops, seeing as how hard I've worked to make them grow? Although, if I don't give at least something, Father will criticize me for being mean. Hmm. I know. If I leave some old fruit, no one will see me, and father will not think less of me. I never realized I could be so crafty.
O Lord, accept this offering. Forgive my sins and guide my mother, my father and brother on the straight path. Amen. See how they choose Hubble over you again? Now if someone were to get rid of him, who would know? You know, you could do it secretly and never be blamed. I'm telling you boy, if you don't get rid of that troublemaker soon, you will regret it. And for the rest of your life, just think how nice life would be without him, hmm? Yes, yes, I'll do it. I'll kill Harbin. Got your tongue? Or are you still upset about what happened? Leave me alone, Daddy's boy, or or I'll kill you. Kill me, Carbel? That is not funny. You shouldn't make jokes like that. And, and why are you carrying that rock in your hand? Who's joking? I should have gotten rid of you a long time ago. Are you insane? Do you realize what you're saying? If I didn't fear Allah, I would shake some sense into you. We're brothers. The sons of a great prophet, have you forgotten that? Brothers? You're no brother of mine. You're the worst enemy in the world. I'm so sick of you always making me look like a fool. I've had enough, do you hear me? I don't understand you. What did I ever do except try to be the best brother that I could? Even if you stretch out your hand to kill me, I would never do the same to you. Blast it! 